Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be about this wig that was sent to me from my first wig. I'll have all of the direct links and the promo code information down below in the description box. Don't forget to check down below for more information. Included in my wig kit, I did receive bobby pins, a comb, hair clips, a wig cap, a foldable wig stand, conditioner, and flyaway tamer. The name of the wig is LFB011. The hair texture is yakky. The length is 12 inches. The hair color is same as picture. The cap construction is a six inch deep part lace front wig. The lace color is light brown. I'll have all of the information, promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. Don't forget to check down below before you leave. So here's the wig straight out of the package and placed straight onto your head. It is a beautiful wig. It looks so natural. The yaki texture definitely gives it a natural appearance. The highlights are gorgeous. The knots on this wig are bleached, so it looks super natural. I do not have on a wig cap, and the parting space looks really good. The first thing that I'm going to do to this wig, however, is to pluck some more knots from the hairline. The hairline is pre-plucked already for you, but I do want it to look a little bit more natural, so I'm going to go ahead and start the beige method of plucking, which is my zigzag parting method. If you would like a full in-depth tutorial on how to do the zigzag part method, I do have a full video posted. So make sure you check that out if you want more information on this method. Next, I'm grabbing my flat iron and I am going to flat iron the hair in sections. get that sleek look I need these flyaways to be completely smooth I'm grabbing the flyaway tamer that was included in my package and I'm just going to smooth the hairs down okay so now that the wig is fully styled it's time to install so the first thing that I'll be doing is grabbing 90% alcohol in a cotton swab and I'm just going to clean off my forehead with the alcohol. After that, I'll grab my scalp protector and apply that to my forehead as well. Next, I'm just going to try on the wig, making sure that the combs are in the correct position and that the parting space is where I want it to be. After that, I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut the extra lace on the frontal into three different sections because I will be applying the glue in small sections as we go along. Now I'm just going to push the wig backwards so that I can have a clear view of my forehead. The glue of choice today is Bold Hold. I'm just going to put some of that glue onto a cardboard, a random piece of cardboard. And next I'm going to apply a thin layer on to my forehead in the middle section. I'm working with the middle section first. After applying a thin layer, I am going to blow dry it until it, it is about 80% clear. Then I'm going to press the wig down into the glue. Because I am taking this wig off directly after this video, I did only do one layer. If you want this wig to stay on longer than a few hours or maybe a day or two, you will have to do more than one layer of the glue. So I am going to do that to the left and right sides of this wig. I'm going to put the glue on, blow dry it, allow it to turn clear, then place the the lace onto the glue and then I'll come back for the next step. 
I am grabbing stop shine as the next step and I am going to place that stop shine everywhere that the glue is placed. Ideally, when you are using this product, it's best to make sure that the glue is completely dried first before you do this. And the glue is not all the way dry. That's why the glue was white before I applied the stop shine, but it doesn't even matter at this point. I'm just going to apply that to the wig and then I'm gonna blow dry it until it turns clear. So here's a very vital step. You wanna make sure that before you cut the lace off that all of the hairs are going in the direction that you want them to be so that it can be flawless before you cut the lace off. So I'm grabbing my pressing comb and the flyaway tamer and I'm just gonna go over the hairline. And this is also helping the hairline look more natural because if there are any areas of hair that may have like stuck together from the glue, this is helping release that um, the section of hair that might have clustered together. So this definitely, definitely, definitely is a step that you should not overlook. After that, I'm grabbing my eyebrow razor and I'm just going to razor through the extra lace. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I have all of the information, promo codes, and direct links to this wig down below in the description box. I wanted to show you more of versatility, so I did wear this hairstyle in a side part. I wore it in a middle part, and I also did like a high bun. Let me know what your favorite was down below in the comment section. And as always, I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.